Hey y'all, thanks for watching Dee with my favorite groomer on YouTube. This is Sunny and he's a little hyper and he likes to move around a lot. I've got him already posted on the dog up stand to help me just kind of control him real fast. And we are going to do a seven all over. Uh, every two months or so we, was it two months? Yeah, two to three months we do a full grooming. We do a summer cut usually. Actually, let me see, I did a two guard reverse tail. Okay, no, same thing, seven body. So seven body down, and um, here we go, because he's pretty hyper. He always comes in pretty excited. So we're going to get moving, okay? Thanks for watching. I appreciate your support and all your emails. I read them all, and I try to get back with each and every one of you, so I appreciate you. Nice, Sonny. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's go. Let's do this, man. Okay, we're going to do a seven down. I started the base of the neck here. I've got my seven. And I'm gonna do everything I can without moving the dog up stand first, okay? And then I'm after I get everything I need, then I'm gonna go back and detail up without the stand. Um, are my, st my camera stand broke. David kind of broke the stand handle on accident. So he is working on fixing it. So we won't be moving it around very much today, but I think we've got it in a pretty good position to kind of capture everything. This is my favorite groom loop. It's because I can go up and down with one hand. The other ones are really, really cheap. So if you want the groom loop, I never talk about it, but it's essential in the t grooming a dog to have a decent groom loop. The other ones that come free with your grooming tables usually are just junk. I usually, if I sell a grooming table, I'm trying to upgrade their groom loop because it'll, it's so easy. Look, I could just open it and close it with one hand. Uh, those other ones, you have to use two hands and I, I, they're just not fast enough for me. There's a lot of control happening here because he's just um, kind of guided by the dog up stand, kind of preventing him from jumping around, moving around. He does move around quite a bit. So man, this stand is so handy. Hi, Sunny. Let me see your face in here. When you're doing the neck, I actually come up above the neckline. So you see where this would hold? Come up above that. You can even come forward just a tiny bit so you capture all that right above it. So we have um, grooms coming in back to back this morning and this is not even a Saturday, it's just a really busy day. So I may not do all of his rough, rough right now, just whatever I can get until I can hear David get off the phone. So many of you have told me how it's a drastically changing your groom times when you do the rough in so it really does and one lady she just emailed me yesterday she said Didi it really does change my groom times but she uh, is used to you know being one of those folks that bathes first so she said um, what do you suggest on the tools because she wants different tools right so uh, before and after I don't think there's a big difference I told her but if you did really mentally need to have different tools have two boxes of blades. One, the blades are before the groom and labeled so. And then don't mix them up. And then one's after the groom. That way you can have the separation of, like not, not, not that they're dirty, but when you uh, shave a dog or use your clippers and stuff, blades, excuse me, when you use your blades on a dog that's um, dirty, you would think mentally that it's going to ruin your blade faster. I personally have not seen such a thing happen. Like this is what I do, and I, it doesn't go any worse or better if you, you know, if you use the same blade. Okay, again, I'm going back and doing everything I can. Um, and I have no idea where I laid my file at, so I think it was a one re one guard reverse teddy bear head. I'm gonna try that. See, mats are, if your, your guards are not going to allow you to go through mats. So if you run into a mat, you're going to have to come back and clean that up with the tin. 
or shave it down. I laid it. I, I was just reading it, man. It's right here somewhere. I didn't leave him. I hung it. Oh, I hung it up over there. Good. I got it. It's over here. Remember? Yeah, I know. That's why I have it in the wrong place. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, buddy. Okay. David, I'm ready for you. I'm going to do the pads real fast or, or whatever, but I'm going to be ready for you since um, we have another one here in about 20 minutes. You ready? Yeah. So David's going to do the bath brush, excuse me, the bath and dry. And I got most of the hair everywhere, you know, off. So it's just going to be some detailing, go down the arms and the uh, sanitary and stuff when the sunny gets done. And, and then David's also going to do the ears. Are you kissing me? your body on there. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Let me see. So I'm gonna tighten this a tad bit here so he can't whip back too much. He's giving me an interesting vibe. You're okay man. You're okay. Yes you are. Yes you are. Don't look at me like that. Yeah I know what you're thinking. I'm not gonna get it. Don't, don't, don't look at me like that, man. You're okay. Sonny's okay. You see how he kind of whipped back? Okay, okay, let me see. Don't get mad or I'll get the muzzle out. No, no. No getting mad. No, no. No, no. I know where the vein's at, dude. I just got to get a good grip here. Don't bite me now. Don't bite. I know what you're thinking. You're fine. Nothing's hurting you. Uh-uh, one more. One more. Don't get mad. Come on now. Nope. Don't get mad. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. You're good. You're good. See? See? See how that good that was? Good job. Now we got it with Sunny back on the table here. And I'm going to do all the sanitary. And we got Dad. Dad actually was uh, is an artist. And if you're interested in any of his work, um, I'm going to let you know about it, uh, his website uh, down below. But he actually uh, would sublease part of my salon at one point to uh, do artwork. It was pretty cool. And so I know them pretty well. He's prior a retired Navy. And he is actually waiting in the car right now. So I've got my tin and I'm doing the sanitary, all that good stuff. Everything where the dog up stand, you know, was at. And we got the other baby back there right now. We have a busy day today. Are you kissing me, Sonny? He does morning kisses and he does kiss, kiss, kisses. <laughs> you got matted armpits, man. So you notice I'm using my backup, which is David's actual clipper here. Um, I had a question last night as well that I saw was uh, about the twist list or the twist ties for which we are selling. We're going to get multiple colors, but I recommend if you're going to try the twisting on your cords so that you eliminate all this bundling up on your wire, that you also go ahead and get an extra, and I'll talk to you more about that in a different video, but an extra, I'll talk, yeah, I'll talk to you more about that tw uh, twisting stuff. Because it does help, but I do have a pair of clippers right now that without twisting it, I think it would have been fine. So we'll see. I'm going to ask uh, my, my uh, clipper guy more questions about it.
Is that a new one? The other one's still full? Yeah. Okay, good. Good job. Sorry, you guys, the camera situation. We're either fixing this stand or getting a new one, so we'll know today. That was a seven. See okay, all the if I didn't mention. I did check the file and that's gonna be a two guard reverse and down on the ears like this. I'm gonna come back down the face right there on the back side with the seven. Boy, funny. Come up this way. You won't even be able to tell to do that. Look up for me or look up or tighten that groove loop, okay? Because it's up down, up down, slows you down. Which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna tighten this baby up so I can get a good look. I'm gonna have to tighten it up to do his face anyway. Okay, we're gonna tighten it up to do his face. Okay, we're gonna tighten it up to do his face anyway. Okay, we're gonna do off my favorite leave-in conditioner stuff. The stuff. <laughs> I know that's how they got the name of it. Get your deep mat breaker. Where is my mat breaker? Right here. Some of you, if I've told you to go watch every, like, a small dog, some of you want to start grooming or want to start your own salon or, and you want to know the tools, the major tools to get first, well, I told you to go through a video and sit there with a the notepad and write down all the tools you want to get your first order. And then go um, look at that, those tools. He wants a fluffy tail, so I'm gonna leave all this. Then go look at the cost of the tools on the online store. And then late, and then as you start building your order, you're going to do it in stages, you know. Your first order, your second order, and so forth. And then once you have all your tools, you're just getting little stuff you want, you know, resell stuff. Now you're going to double up on your brushes so that you have one for sale and one that you're using. So that's how I recommend you do it. If you want to get into grooming, watch this video, start it all over, write down every tool you see me using that I talk about, and then go double check the cost and what you want to start off with, you know what I mean? You have to really study what you're doing, uh, what I'm doing. Okay, so we did the nails already.
So I noticed that she's barking the whole time and I don't really, that's why I love to do one-on-one -on -one grooming so that doesn't stress out the dog I'm working with. Unfortunately, she came in pretty mad and so she has to, I had to get permission so I got, off, got her off the table to finish setting. Um, so now she's just ca causing herself some anxieties and I don't like that, right? So I'll make a note to her card that she needs to be here by herself. Because that dog not matted should be a 45 minute groom. That's uh, Nina. So I have a shape. So some of the tools, if you haven't noticed, uh, I'm sure the, the groomers are not watching every video. You know, you guys are very busy. I get it. So some of the things I explain might not be something that you get to watch. But some of the tools I've, I'm using have uh, been I've been using for many many years. So if you order from me, you may get something like that looks like my tool that does the same thing, but they don't make it anymore. You know. So I have. And I'm always looking for something better for you guys, and better for myself. Um, so that's why you'll see some of the products you'll get are not the same color and so forth. And there's a reason. Sometimes they don't make things the same anymore. Sometimes they go cheaper. And you've got to keep an eye like, okay, if, if that's going to go to be this cheap, I don't want to sell it or I don't want someone else using it, okay? So I'm always kind of looking out for you guys on that. If you guys are ordering supplies for me, just know that. I also had Mary, she came in from Carrollton the other day and she um, had bought she had bought her a round table and I, I offered to help her re consignment it but then when she came in I actually helped her uh, return it because it, it just wasn't going to be big enough for her situation. But she bought it off of Amazon. Well, sometimes the best thing is, is that's a, between me and you guys, is, is buying from a groomer. Because you know I've demoed it and I, I believe in it. Or, or I'm going to tell you we're not going to carry this anymore. Or I'm gonna, you'll see tools just fade out because uh, there's a different tool that could do the same thing that's better. So I appreciated her coming in and letting me help her. She got a table. Um, I could be wrong. But M Mary, Maria, Mary, Mary, I think. Um, I suck at names, you guys. But uh, she came in, we got her a table, a groom loop, and uh, she bought some supplies, she did pick up. She's about like 40 minutes away, um, or more, is where she lives. So that was really cool that she came out. Uh, so my whole point is that, uh, if, you know, no, you can trap Amazon, so do I, okay? But me and David have done our homework, and we know the better deal. And you know, I'm a business, so, there's some going to be some things that I'm going to be a little higher on and some things I'm going to be a little lower on. But in the, at the end of the day, if you're shopping with me, you can get me on the phone and we'll talk about your tools. You know, at the end of the day, you can email me and I'm going to respond to you regarding your questions before you buy something. So just know that there's a difference between just ordering something or actually getting educated by the tools that you're about to order. Does that make sense? So if you're about to order something and you're not sure, don't order it ask some questions and I would love for you to shop with me so that I can save you time on that. She came out here with her table. I helped her with her table, but she would have lost money on the table. So she did it this time. But in the future, I was like, just, just get with me, man. If you support me, I'm going to support you. I'm going to help you. Right. That's it's just work. It's a working together hand in hand. All right. I think Sunny is all done, man. Um, we need to get Nina out of here. Okay, all the, those folks that has bought a hemostat and the ear pad, put it in here. Put, it's not going to stay perfectly, but at least when you grab your hemostat, you got your ear pad right with you, okay? All right, are we all done, Sunny? I've got to fix up your ears just a tad. tool so we can cut through those mats right there make it a little easier and faster to come through and brush great such a big difference quick difference right there okay look forward Sunny you can go get Mason okay
Yeah, you're so cute, Sonny. He did great today, huh, you guys? He usually moves around quite a bit. Here. Yeah. Okay. Sunny. There you go, buddy. All right. Thanks for watching Diddy Croy, my favorite rumor on YouTube, and we'll talk to you in a minute. What do you think, Mason? Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you look good. Great. Say hi, Mason. I love putting Mason on the spot. Oh. <laughs> Will you tell the YouTube viewers your uh, art channel so they can go look at what you've got? Uh, Mason Cox Art is my website. Okay, MasonCoxArt.com. Mason Thanks a lot, Mason. Appreciate ya. Say bye, Sunny. <laughs>